We now welcome Jesse Chapman with CAPA, the Child Abuse Prevention Association. Jesse, th Jesse, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thrilled you're here. Jesse, tell us about your fundraiser and who was benefited by the donations you receive. So um, this is our Dancing with Our Stars fundraiser, second year that we've been doing it, and all the proceeds benefit the Child Abuse Prevention Association and all of our programs, including our Open Arms Children's Home that we um, have here in Beaufort. So how much money was raised last year? We raised over $60,000 last year and that was pretty awesome since it was our first event. We had one of our teams, the team that won the People's Choice Award, they, they raised over $12,000 and that was Tracy, Robinson and Topher. Extremely respectable. How do you choose your teams and your stars? So it's an interesting um, committee that we, uh, we use to help us choose our stars. We go out and we think about people who give back to the community and either mean a lot to CAPA or work a lot with CAPA or other agencies like CAPA. And then we also decide if they're a good representation of the community like law enforcement, teacher, medical staff, things like that. And we also try to see you know, how well they are at pulling other people to support them because it's not just about raising money, but it's also about bringing awareness to child abuse prevention in our community. And so it, there's a lot of dynamics that goes into picking the different teams. Yeah, it takes good teamwork. Tell us, are the stars required to have dance experience? The stars are required to have zero dance experience. And that's actually usually what we hear from them. The first thing they say is, I can't dance. And we, we doesn't matter. We just want them to be, they are already a star in the community and we just want them to help us raise money. So for a star in wait who's a viewer or someone that just wants to participate as a volunteer, how can people get involved in this program? So we, um, like I said, all the stars are um, volunteering as well as the instructors are volunteering. And so that's amazing because everything they do is just for us. But the biggest thing, the biggest way the community can support is by voting for their favorite team. And the way that they vote is by donating to Kappa. Every dollar raised counts as a vote. And um, they can also purchase an ad in our program or they can purchase a sponsorship um, through, the, through the teams. And you know, if somebody buys a silver sponsorship, which is $500, that's 500 vote, votes for the team. So tell our viewers who want to come out and see the event itself, how can we get tickets? We are completely sold out of tickets for Dancing with Our Stars. The Saturday night event sold out in less than a day and it's an exciting problem to have. So what we decided to do was we opened up the dress rehearsal um, so that people can buy tickets for that. Tickets are $20 for the dress rehearsal and they can go through the USCB Center for the Arts um, website or call their box office to get tickets. All right, Jesse Chapman is with Kappa. Jesse, thanks for the essential work you do in our community. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, it's our pleasure. Upon our return, we've got Joshua Potisha from Bricks on Boundary, plus the mayor of Buford, Billy Coslin. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.